So we've got an electric field in a region of space with EY equals EZ equals zero and EX equals four um, newtons per coulomb in the X direction. So we've got EX equals four newtons per coulomb. So we've got two points here. A is on the x of the y axis at y equals 2 meters. B is on the x axis at x equals 2.80 meters. And it wants to know um, in moving from uh, A to B, what is our delta V, which is VB minus VA. So, <clears throat> the way this works here, I like to remember this uh, little square here. So we've got our E field goes to our force by multiplication by charge. Our potential energy goes to force by a uh, directional derivative. And our V goes to potential and it goes to E field by another by a negative directional derivative. So um, our E X is minus dV by dx. So we can solve for potential at A and B. Um, which will have with it some um, some constant of, of integration, but um, but those will cancel. So our V A is the integral of E A uh, delta X or D X, sorry, which is E. AX um, and I should say I say this is EX A like this that way we know which is EX AX um, plus some constant so that constant just comes from the fact that I haven't necessarily said where our zero of potential is. And so we can solve for our VB the same way. Integral E X B DX, which is E X B X plus our integration constant again. Presumably these are the same, or these would be the same constant as our zero of potential would be the same in both places. Now, um, our electric field didn't uh, was a constant, right? So our E X A was equal to our E X B, which is equal to this 4.0 newtons per coulomb. Our X, um, I should say X A X B, our X A is zero, our X B, is uh, 2.80 meters. So our delta V, which is VB minus VA, is equal to just this 4.0 newtons per coulomb times 2.80 meters. And um, we can see that because XA is zero, that's just minus zero. And then we can add in our integration constants, but we can see that that'll be plus C minus C, which will cancel. So our delta V is just um, that 
Did I drop something? Oh, I did drop something. So these should be minus, sorry. <clears throat> so minus, minus. So then this would be minus plus, but that's okay. And then this would be minus uh, four, sorry, minus 11.2 um, joules per coulomb. And a joule per coulomb is a volt. So our delta V is minus 11.2 volts. Um, so it's the point of this question, or what this question was trying to point out, is that even though even though we're moving along some R here, our delta V only cares about movement along the direction of our E field, and movement along a direction perpendicular to our E field has no delta V. Um, And so, and that's the mistake that's being made by um, the person who's done this one, as as they're computing the the r that they're moving. But there's there's no delta v in the direction of y, and so there's there's no there's no contribution from the y direction. And so this is um, just wrong. Um, no contribution from the y direction, it should just be um, E times uh, delta x. Okay, um, I think I'm actually going to stop here. and say um, thank you all for listening. Um, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to One Class. If you want to leave questions, please follow the links below the videos. Um, this has been Jeff Krause for One Class.